What's up? Got Tyler here again. Sometimes at work you just get a little stressed out. You need to release a little bit of whatever. My... It's always important to have some kind of stress reliever in your office. Some people choose, you know, things to squeeze in their hand. I choose a fucking punching bag. Anyhow, get a couple workouts like this in in a day. Whew. You're not going to go downstairs so with a little bit of pissed off attitude, not so much anymore. So anyways, let's get back on topic. My main thing about this video is like, have something to do in your office or your work area that uh, is fun and entertaining, not just all work all the time. I like to surround myself with all different things to do, activities and, and so forth. As we get to know each other, see some more of my videos. I'll take you walking to the shop and you know I like to have my bikes and ramps downstairs. We got all kinds of stuff to, to mess around with in the headquarters. But anyways, what I want to talk, whew, got the sunlight coming in, we got to dodge this. What we're going to talk about today is creating a comfortable work environment. Basically what I just went over. Most people when they walk into my company, they just love the way it feels. They're just always like, oh, it's... it always goes down to your, 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 basically your five senses. As soon as they walk, before they even walk in the door, they're already visually picking when they're driving into the neighborhood. So your target demographic, your demographics of your neighborhood really matters who, who you're trying to reach out to. So you got to keep in mind. So visually when they're pulling in, you want them to come into uh, a nice area or a nice facility. So that's all visual. Keep that in mind. As soon as they walk in the door, so what I'm saying is don't try to bring them into a gang banging hood to sell expensive furniture like I did. <laughs> uh, it works out because it's a specialty store. Now it's a little different if you got something really special to offer where the client's coming to you. I pull all my clients to me. I don't go to them. I use that kind of, that's my approach. I hook them online, I get my leads, and I pull them in. It's a different strategy. You can bring them to a place. So much like a fast food place or like a quick convenience store place, not gonna do so hot here because people could go elsewhere. I'm the only furniture reclaim store, uh, fabrication company, you know, there's a, maybe a couple in Chicago, so they're gonna come to where we are and they're expected it to be in the west side on the warehouse. So it all makes sense for me. But once you get them in here, there's no excuse to bring them into a pile of shit place. So I doctored up my showroom, so once they come in, they, they, they smell, whoa, where am I at? I'm at a wood shop, it smells like wood in here. So there's another one in your senses, you hit their visual, and then you just hit their their actual their smelling sense. Now they want to feel they now they want to feel good, and they start hearing you know all the senses. So then they're hearing power tools, they're hearing loud noises in the back, visually seeing a shop and furniture getting made. Made here they're starting to pick up like all right this is the real deal place. No shit they're building it in front of me through a window. I can hear it, smell it. Now I'm in the showroom where I can feel it. I'm in there, I'm rubbing my hands across grain, whatever, every wood has its texture with different finishes and every wood and species has a different kind of texture. So then they just start feeling with their hand and you can't do that through a picture. Then they're getting the smell. You're engaging in all these senses and that's what gets the sale pumping. So you, it's important when you create an atmosphere to, to make sure if you're bringing a client in to trigger all those senses. Even light is so very important because of this, uh, just the feel of energy of light, a dim light. Like right now in this room, I kind of got a lower setting, more like a cave light, something, something along, uh, along those lines. So now that we went across all of that, now you got to put in the right people and play to then give education. Not only do you got to be visually appealing, and these, these light dimming come my my camera is really messing with me. We're gonna have to live, we're just gonna have to live with them. Okay, so, where was I at? Once you get them in here, it's like fishing. You gotta cast the line, you gotta reel it in. Anyway, hitting all their senses and then building the right team, then you get the education. So, then you need to educate them to make sure that you they know that they're talking to the right motherfucker about the job. They come in, they wanna know about wood. They wanna know what kind of wood, what's the wood species, how long it's gonna last. Is it gonna, they want to know shit that they don't even know yet. So I'm telling them all about my 
I give them through the whole sales pitch. That's a whole different beast. I got that under control. So then I educate them. I give them all the information they want to know. I also let them know that all of my team members are very educated as well just by watching them operate or um, talking to them when you walk in the front door. So you got all, you got all that going on with, with actually geez, all kinds of shit's going out there, people hitting the door knocking. You got all that shit going on. And that's creating an atmosphere. And so I, think, I don't think a lot of people think about all those because I walk into a lot of restaurants, a lot of stores, no music playing in the background. I'm not saying you gotta have a fucking rock concert going, but I mean, I don't wanna listen and walk into a room and then like hear my own heartbeat. And it's like, all right, I'm already feeling awkward. It's awkwardly weird and quiet in here. No one's around. It's like, you don't got anyone to greet them. So you got someone to greet them. You gotta make them feel welcome. Like you want them there and like, all that simple shit, right? And that's like so overlooked. And then to manage that that actually happens to have your employees work like that is truly the puppet master fucking pulling the strings. So you need to be like, you got to have all, all your strings being pulled at the right time when, whenever that client walks in the door. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that on building your space. It's a few simple pointers. It definitely gets a little deeper than that. Don't got the time today. See ya.